Hey guys, so I've had a lot of requests to show you my morning routine, so I'm going to take you through my skin, hair, makeup and outfit that I've been wearing recently. And I'm going to start everything off in the bathroom with my skin. Now I've been using this First Aid Beauty Milk Oil Conditioning Cleanser. It's a really light milky cleanser, it's perfect to use in the mornings because it just takes away that layer of sweat I normally wake up with. I just apply that onto my skin, run a flannel under warm water and then wipe it away. P.S. How great is my off duty? jumper here like seriously I freaking love this jumper then I'm going to use this really hydrating moisturizer from Kiehl's it has a really nice gel texture but it's actually super super hydrating but it stops my skin from being oily at the same time I've recently been loving the Chanel Vitalumia Aqua foundation seriously I am so so late on the bandwagon with this foundation really light it's really dewy it's a perfect kind of everyday foundation especially on weekends so I'm just buffing that in with a real techniques brush then I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I'm not quite sure if this matches up to the NARS concealer for me in coverage but in consistency it's much more lightweight so I just slather that on all around under my eyes and down my nose as well and then for blush I've been addicted to Dallas by Benefit it doesn't look like much in the pot but once you put it onto the skin it gives it the cheeks like a really great bit of definition it's like kind of a blush kind of a contour powder kind of a bronzer it's really cool I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply some of this golden shimmer eyeshadow all over the lid And then taking this crease colour on a duo fibre brush and just blending in any harsh edges making sure the golden shade sweeps up into a nice gradient of colour. I'm going to use my L'Oreal False Lash Flutter today. This is kind of like my weekend look, guys, so I don't really do too much with my eye makeup. And then going to move on to the lips, and I'm using MAC Current Lip Pencil today. I do actually prefer the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Pencil I've been talking about recently, just because it's a lot creamy and it matches the lipstick I'm about to use better. And this is the lipstick I'm going to use. It's Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick in Glastonbury. I am so addicted to this. I think it's such a gorgeous, like, berry, mauvey, vampy colour but it's so wearable even for the daytime. You guys have all been asking me for a more in-depth tutorial on my hair, so I'm going to show you guys how I normally do my hair today, and I'm going to use the Numi Curl Jam set. Now, I always use a combination of a straightener and a curler. That's the problem when you have curly hair like me, you kind of need a bit of both. I kind of straighten it and then put the curl back in where I want it. So in this set, you do get a straightener and a curling wand with three barrels. I really like that you can have one wand, but with like different size attachments so you don't really need to go around buying a ton of different ones for different looks. My hair isn't looking so fresh, you guys can see it's a bit randomly kinky in places, it's not really flowing the way I want it to flow. I'm going to start everything off by trying to add some shine back into my hair, so I'm going to use the Numi Argan Oil. I take a tiny drop of this onto the palm of my hands, rub it into the palm of my hands, and then I just run it through the mid lengths to ends of my hair with my fingertips. It makes my hair much smoother and softer, it works as like an anti-frizz serum, add some heat protection in there as well and it's just a nice way to add some shine too. I'm going to start everything off by sectioning my hair. I normally take the first section from my ear upwards. You can see my hair gets kind of kinky and curly just where the roots of my hair actually begin which is so so strange but I'm just taking the straightener and just running it through any of those kinks. As I mentioned the wand in the curl jam set comes with three separate barrels but I'm going to be using the biggest one today which is 32 millimeters. Whenever I curl my hair I take a couple inch sections and I curl them going away from my face making sure to keep the wand horizontal as opposed to vertical so I get more waves as opposed to ringlets. I don't want my curls to look too kind of uniform so I do one going away from my face and one going towards my face and kind of alternate the two. So I go through my whole head doing that process going one towards my face one away from my face making sure to keep my wand horizontal. I love the finished result the 32 millimeter barrel gives and I notice that when I curl my hair with this wand my hair just still looks the same the next day it's still really gorgeous really curly and I love how much the curls last on my hair as well especially without touching up when I get to the sections closer to my face I make sure that I curl them going away from my face because I just find that this helps open up my hair and open up my face a bit more I don't really want curls going in towards my face I don't really know why I just think it looks better going away from my face you'll notice now when I'm finishing off my hair how healthy and shiny my hair looks that's definitely down to using the argan oil I always get compliments as well when I use argan oil on my hair 
So if you guys are interested in any of the new me products like I mentioned, the Curl Jam set or the Argan Oil, I have two codes for you guys. So the first code is Heart Amelia and you get 40% off the whole new me website plus a free Argan Oil and free UK shipping. Or you could use the code Amelia Beauty which gets you $100 off all sets and $10 off shipping. And I will leave the codes and all the information with links as well in the information box below for you guys. Now moving on to my breakfast. Now I've been posting a lot of this on Instagram and Snapchat and you guys have been asking me for a recipe. It's my acai bowl. The first thing I do is I pop some frozen acai in my blender and then I have two cut up frozen bananas that I pop in there as well. And then I just blend everything together. Oh gosh, I love that purpley color. I think it looks so beautiful. And this just comes out as a nice thick kind of yogurt like texture. Pop that in a bowl and then over the top I sprinkle some granola, some coconut flakes, some goji berries, some more bananas and then gotta pair my breakfast with a nice peppermint tea obviously. So as I'm eating my breakfast I normally just check Instagram, check Twitter and in case you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter my usernames will be linked on the screen now. Oh gosh guys I love this acai bowl so much. Before I leave the house I just spray myself in my Jo Malone peony and blush suede cologne. This one's my favourite. It always has been and it reminds me of springtime. I just oh I love 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 this scent. And then moving on to my outfit. If you guys follow me on Instagram you've definitely seen this outfit before. It's like my very casual kind of weekend cool outfit. I'm wearing a leather jacket and then just like a plain black tank underneath and then I have this blue lumberjack shirt just wrapped around my waist. Some jeans and some cool biker boots as well. I think the whole look is really pulled together by the super vampy lip and then for accessories I have a couple of rings like my Monica Vinader one, one from Gorkana, one from Majuri. I'll link them all in the information box below as well. And then that is my finished look so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I upload Monday, Wednesday and Friday and I will see you guys in my next video. Until then!